So number seven then from paper one of the National 5 2019. Change the subject of a formula. The area of a trapezium is given by this, but you don't really care because all you want to know is, okay, what am I changing it into? So it says, make x the subject of the formula for three marks. So when x on this side, on its own, and everything else goes away. Well, I'll just reverse it first of all, just to get it in the right place. Now you can start peeling off the bits. Well, the first thing that can go is that divide by two. So you can go across as 2a. You could have done this at the same time. But I didn't want to startle you with that. So now the h can go across and divide, so it's 2a upon h. Normally you'd have written that in one go. You'd have thought, divide, multiply by the 2 and divide by the h. Well, it's, it's almost done, because there's only one thing left to get rid of, and that's the y. It'll go across and subtract. So you've got 2a upon h minus y. Number eight then, well, what have we got here? Six marks here, right enough. And it looks like the simultaneous equations question. It's a wee story, so I'm not writing this down. I'll just put down the pertinent, well, it tells you anyway to write down the equation. John bought seven bags of cement and three bags of gravel. Now, why would you do that? See if you're not even about making up concrete. That's completely the wrong proportion. Anyway, the total weight of these bags is 215. Write down an equation. Well, I should really say something like this, first of all. Let C equal, and it's all about finding weights. So really it's the weight of a bag of cement and G be the weight of a bag of gravel. But you may well get away with just putting the C in the G and it's implied by the question. So for part A, what was there? Seven bags of cement, that'll be seven C. And three bags of gravel, there you go, 3G, and that comes to 215. So there's one equation. Shona bought five bags of cement and four bags of gravel. The total weight of that was 200. Write down an equation for this. Five bags of cement and four bags of gravel come to 200. So there's two marks straight away for that part. That was part B, actually. Although it's just one continuous problem, really. So, if that's the case, for four marks, calculate the weight of one bag of cement and the weight of one bag of gravel. They have to put it that way. Instead of just saying, calculate the weight of a bag of cement and gravel and a bag of gravel, because then you might think they're meant to add them or something. Well, you've got simultaneous equations. And when it's like this, it's going to be elimination. So you just take your pick. I think I'll get rid of G. I'm going to eliminate G. And I like to have a little plan in advance. You do as well, but I just may write it down differently. So in order to eliminate G, I want them to be the same. Now there's two possibilities. You can either make them the same with the same side sign and then decide to subtract, or you can make them have opposite signs to begin with and then add. It's up to you. But I know I'm going to have to do four of these to make 12 and three of these to make 12. But I think when I do three of these, I'll multiply by negative three so that I'm just adding in the end. You don't need to. You can just multiply by three and then carefully make sure that you subtract them. So the first one, four of everything. Not just four of that, four of everything. Well, it's not balanced anymore. So that's 28C plus 12G. And what's four times that? That's going to be 860. Three of them, but negative three of them. So it's negative 15C, negative 12G, negative 600. If you don't like the negatives, you can just multiply and then subtract. I'm just going to add now. So they disappear. That was the whole point. And when I add them, because that's equivalent to the subtraction, I'm going to get 13. 13 is a wee scary number, isn't it? Because there's not a lot 13 will go into. So you're hoping this will divide by 13. Subtracting that, which is what the adding I've decided to do, gives me 260. Ah, there you go. Look, that's double it, isn't it? 260 over 13, so C is going to be 2 times 20. So a bag of cement must weigh 20 kilograms. I've not left myself a lot of room to do the other one. Now I'm going to substitute that. 
substitute c equals 20 into whichever one. There's not an awful lot to choose between them, really, is it? I've ended up pointing at this. Right, so in 2, so that means I've got 5 times 20 plus 4g is 200. Well, 520 is 100. So 4g is, if we take that across, is 100. Just skipping steps here. Now, divide by 4, 25. So the gravel's heavier then. Now, they might accept that, or maybe I should finish it off by saying this. Bag of cement is 20 kilograms. Bag of gravel is 25 kilograms. Of course, you should also really check it. If you use number two, check it with that first one, just to make sure it all works out. So that you would have 140 and 75, which does make 215, so you know you've got it correct. Number nine then, from paper one of the 2019 National 5 Maths. There we go, a little parabola. You just love these wee questions, don't you? The wee parabola questions. A wee upside down parabola here. What does it say? Shows its turning point at the top is 420. And it wants you to, first of all, write down the equation of the axis of symmetry. Well, it's symmetrical that way. The axis of symmetry comes down here. The axis of symmetry is intersects the x-axis at, because that's 4 along and 20 up, at 4 along. The axis of symmetry is just simply x equals 4. Every point on that line has got an x-coordinate of 4. Now b, it says y is equal to b minus x plus a squared. That's the equation of it written. You may not like that because they've written that the other way around, haven't they? But you've still got the x part in here and you have to say what A and B are. So this equation here will describe any point, so it'll describe that point. Now the biggest this will ever get to is when the bracket is zero, and the biggest it'll ever get to is 20. So that B must be the 20. When will it be 20? It'll be when this bracket is zero. Now that happens when X is four. If X is four, A would have to be a negative 4. But then you probably just remember it as it's the same as that but the opposite of that. But that's it for the three marks.